With DTW Tutorials Educational Videos coupled with our CBT app, getting high scores in your exam is guaranteed. Get the DTW Tutorials Jam CBT app today, okay, with over 20,000 past questions with correct solutions for science, art, and commercial students, all subjects for you to practice with. Get it today to support us. Thank you. Hello, guys. Welcome to DTW Tutorials. Welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be quickly taking you through the steps to overcome exam anxiety. Any anxiety, any exam fear you have, be it jam, um, or any other exam, okay? And the four steps, I'll be explaining it to you thoroughly, okay? And what and what you should do as jam is approaching, what you should do, okay? To overcome ex exam fear and anxiety. I've done a live video session it's quite long, like 35 minutes. So I'm going to just, you know, wrap everything up in about 10 minutes on how to overcome exam anxiety. So um, if it's your first time, please subscribe to the channel. You can also try to get our Jam CBT practice app on our website. There are summary notes, study guides on dtwtutorials.com, syllabus and all that. They are all there. You can join the Facebook group. Um, to help you and support you um, in your exams, okay? So the first tip you need to have to overcome any exam anxiety is good preparation, okay? And you know that when you when you prepare, okay, it, you win more than half the battle. Are you getting my point? You have won more than half the battle when you prepare for an exam or anything in life. Anything in life, when you prepare for it, you've won more than half the battle. All right, so I know, yeah, the exam is closed. Some of you will say, I'm not done preparing. I started late and all that. If you're just starting to read, please, I would advise you to please use practice, uh, you know, practice, practice, use practice, um, uh, past questions to practice, use the CBT app to practice, okay? And um, if maybe you're preparing for an exam in the future, please make sure you start reading early, get your syllabus, Get the recommended test book if it's for your jam for your YA. It's on the DTW tutorials website. Okay, try to get a timetable. I've already drafted one. I'll leave the link in the video description box of this video. Also, when you study, there's a method called SQ3R. Our <clears throat> survey question, the three arrows are recall, recite, and um, read, recite, recall. I've also spoke about that in video i'm gonna leave the link to that video okay then also you need a study group to help you to support you motivate you to study more okay so that's step one you need good preparation good preparation can kill every exam anxiety that you might have now the second thing is you need self-confidence okay you need self-confidence, all right? And, you know, self-confidence is all about what you say to yourself. Now, some of us might not know that we have what we call self-defeating thoughts that are within us. That's just silence there, that we just think about it. Like, I will always mess up in an exam. I'm not brilliant. I'm, I'm dull. I can't make it in life. Maybe because someone has spoken something negative to you. I've always been saying this. Now you're an adult. You can speak positivity into your life and that's where self-talk comes in speak positivity to eliminate every self-defeating thoughts that must have you must have groomed in your heart okay and one of the positive uh, talk, uh, talk you can say to yourself is i am destined to win that is one of the uh, positive if whatever the devil is speaking to you in your head in your mind you're afraid ah I, I will not make it in this exam when you get to the exam oh, you are shaking you are panicking ah i'm so dull see this guy ah this guy's already fast ah god everyone is smarter than me oh i cannot make it i cannot cope i cannot this say i am destined to win you know a close mouth is a close destiny i have to em emphasize this please in life that is what kills us mostly our thoughts Okay, we're a product of our thought process, what our mind is going through. Are you getting me? And they are just those self-defeating thoughts that quietly eat us up. So you need to open your mouth and speak positivity into your life. If you have been talked down by your family, teachers, or anyone around, it doesn't matter. Those that's in the past now, you are heading for the future. Speak positivity into your life. You are destined to win. And write it down and comment it that you are destined to win. Now, after self-talk, the next thing is positive imagination. You have to imagine and believe that score that you want. 
Is it 300? Is it 350? You have to imagine and believe it. Are you getting my point? Is it, imagine yourself in that exam doing great. Imagine you clicking, you know, solving those things and doing great. Imagine yourself. You see, in life, ah, if you imagine the worst, it will come to you. Are you getting my point, my brother, my sister? Imagine the good life. Imagine you getting ahead in life. Imagine it, no matter what comes through your way. Imagine yourself climbing that, conquering that mountain, that challenge. Whatever situation it is in your life, be it an exam or any other thing, your, that is hope. What the imagination gives us is hope. Are you getting me? And hope, faith comes and breathes, you know, breathes positivity into our life. So don't give up. Never give up. That is it. Never give up. I am destined to win. Never give up. Speak into your life. Okay, now this it's um, the next thing is aim for 100%. In any way you are, anything you want to do in life, be it an exam, this is jam, be it wired, aim for nine is for, for jam, aim for 400. And there's no how. If you aim for 400, work towards 400 because hard work is part of overcoming any anxiety in life. Okay, you can't sit and close your book and sit down idle and say something and you imagine and, and something will happen. No, your works, <laughs> you have to show your works. Are you getting my point? Everyone, you have to show your works. Okay, bring it. Okay, you have to show your work. Aim for 100, anything in life, aim for the best. Okay, shoot for 100%, shoot for the moon. Are you getting myself? Are you getting? And most especially, especially about self-confidence, don't compare yourself with others. Please, never do. In life, don't compare yourself with others. Don't feel, oh, this is the way this person reads. That's the way I should read. No, 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 no. This is the way this person, uh, uh, how would I put it? Ah, he wakes up several hours at night and all that, and this... So you should also do the same. No, 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 no. Don't compare yourself with another person. Everybody have their parts in life. We're all different. Our fingerprint is different. Well, how many billion people on the on the planet Earth? Everyone's fingerprint is different. God is so marvelous and so wonderful. So you are a different person. So don't compare yourself with others. Thirdly, is your test taking strategies, which I've explained in a video. Video. I'm going to leave the link to that video. How to manage your exam time. Oh, please, you need to watch that video before your exam. In fact, today, watch that video. Try and watch it. Okay, do night browsing and watch that video. Okay, because there are several strategies, test taking strategies I have put in there. Okay, how to simulate. You know, you have to practice right now. It is practice, practice, practice. You have just 14 days to your exam, two weeks to your exam now. So it is all practice and practice and practice and practice. Using the CBT app simulate you know simulate that your exam condition put yourself under that exam condition are you getting me try to watch that video avoid especially this one now avoid anxious friends around you if you want to overcome exi exam anxiety friends that say oh god i never redo i never just avoid all of them even in your in your tutorial center i also advise people if you are going to still go to tutorial center please stop and sit down in the house and con focus on your own book and read and practice Leave all these friends now. There are some times in life that you need to you need to separate yourself. There's that need that there's that need for separation. Even Jesus had to separate. There was a 40 days and 40 nights, only him in the mountain. Every person goes through. There's always a time that you have to separate yourself. So separate yourself now from every anxious friends, even during the exam. You know, when you go to CBD centers now, they'll be talking of runs. I saw some, so a student sent me a message. Is a uh, jam runs real? Hey, God, why will you? There's no jam runs is real. They'll just eat your money. And why should you even support the exam practice? It is wrong. It is wrong. You're already falling into a big trap. Don't support any exam practice. It is wrong. Please don't support it. Okay. So right now I know in several centers they'll be talking of my practice. Oh, this is the short way. This is this that. When you get to the even your exam center, you see students talking and all that. Separate yourself. All those people will make you anxious. Okay. So separate yourself and focus on your exam. You know, some you know grading. When you're in your uh, maybe you are lining up, you can have some small notes that you have to just read your formula, you know, still just revise and all that. 
Okay? Now plan your approach and allot your time. Please watch that video. How to plan your, your approach towards your exam. You need a strategy. You need a game plan. You don't just enter that exam hall. No, 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 no. This is jam. This is not Wayeko. Even Wayeko, you need strategy. But this is jam, which is very time conscious. You need speed and accuracy. Apart from knowing the syllabus, you need speed and accuracy. So you need a game plan when entering that exam hall. And it is in that video how to manage your time in your jam exam. And also, another thing that will take away exam, exam anxiety from you, you start with the easiest subject for you. And even when you start with the easiest subject, when you get to easier subject, start with the easiest question first. Don't, when you see hard questions, skip it. Even if it is up to 15 hard questions, you see, skip it. You will finally come across one that is easy. Okay? They do that just to, you know, sway, you know, just to, uh, how would I put it, you know, disorganize you, make you scared. That's what they do. Well, that's what examiners do, people that send these questions. That's what they do, make you scared, you know, just shake you a bit. Leave them. Even jam. <laughs> On the website, I read it. It said, it said skip Go to do the easiest question first because they know <laughs> they will put the hard one first, okay? So now the final thing is prayer. Pray, 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 pray. And I'm going to pray for you by God's grace before your exam, okay? So pray when you want to read, pray for retentive memory, pray for speed, pray for accuracy, pray for knowledge, pray for God to open your understanding, to give you speed like never before. Like you will open it, open like this, do one practice like, you can do like five years practice in a, in a day. That is speed that God can grant to you. And after everything, every exam and every when you start for your exam, please don't disturb yourself. After the exam, yes, you can come on the group and say, okay, I saw so, so, so questions and all that. But, start, um, but for you to start bothering yourself on, ah, did I get these questions? No, don't do that. That's another exam. That's, you are putting yourself over another anxiety. Submit everything to God, okay, in prayers and reward yourself. You know, pat yourself on the back. Encourage yourself. Oh, I've put my 100% in this. Go get it, an ice cream. You get myself. Just reward yourself. And feel good about it and wait, wait in expectation for good results. And I know the Lord will favor the works of your hands in Jesus' name. Okay, so I just had to rush this video because I see most people are not watching that video. It's about 35 minutes long. That's why I'm quickly going to wrap this a few minutes. Okay, so um, that's all I have for you on how to overcome any exam anxiety and fear. All right, please make sure you support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and also sharing this video and also getting our Jam CBTR by DTW tutorials. Please get that. We also have the SSC, the BEC, and the NCEE for the junior ones. All right, you can check out the website for several notes and all that. So thank you, and don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ. For you are, see, let me say something to you. With Christ, you are destined to win. That is the sure way. All right. So thank you and stay blessed. See you in our next video.